Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to Ralph's house. We're, about, we're, we're getting down close to getting this thing back where we want it. Uh, let's do some little touch up here. So I got all these different colors thrown out here. I want to grab some of this white that we got on here and uh, just kind of tone it down. I don't really care what color, just a little bit. I don't want it to be pure white. But I want to get this white where you can see. Let's get back up here on this moon a little bit. See, so we kind of lost a little bit in that glaze. That's, that might be a little bit too... I want to get my moon. I want to get my moonshine back. Man, in Tennessee, we know about moonshine. Oh, I don't really know if we do, but kind of gets to get that moon back up there just a little bit. I won't admit it to the revenueers, will we, Ralph? No, we ain't ever gonna tell the revenueers. But get a little bit of light to kind of roll that on there. But that lights that on that moon is just kind of see how it's up there. We know it's up there somewhere. Just leave that alone back up there. It's just I just want to get a little bit more light up there around that moon. Touch up my block a little bit. I like my block. Man, that's just, that's that's Tennessee right there. That just says Tennessee. I've got it right all over. Got to have our cinder block in there. I want to make sure that's going to show up good. We've got to put it underwater too. We ain't got it underwater yet. Tell you what we got to work on. We've got an old catfish been sitting here. He's patient. That old catfish been sitting here forever. I'm going to grab some of just this old ultramarine blue I had down here. And that makes kind of a good blue, kind of a catfish color. And do some drawing here. And let's get some color down here. I want this catfish to be. No catfish. He just, we know he's down there. Let's just kind of get a shape in here. Kind of the shape of where a catfish should be. Got that old mouth down here on the bottom. He just sitting down there on the bottom of that Tennessee River. Carry that on back. And it's a big old catfish. And we got to all the fish come. When Freddie goes fishing, all the fish come because they, they, they like fishing with Freddie. But Freddie generally, he throws them all back. He don't eat them. He just likes to catch them. Oh, hold on to your brush. I'm terrible about that. I paint so fast sometimes. Now we got to blend that in a little bit. Get that catfish shape. What do we want? See, we want to kind of shape him a little bit. Let's get a shape of that catfish in here. Got his fins on his back. So just pull that brush in there. There's that fork tail back there. So he just swam by that paddle. That's how he knew it was Freddy. Didn't have a big old motor out there. He just had a paddle in the water. All them fish know when Freddy's around. Grab a little more of that light. They got that, got that fin in there. And coming out kind of like that. And another fin back here. Everybody's ever catfished. They can tell you about that fin right there. Catfish, they go, they let you know if you grab one the wrong way. That's why they call it a catfish. Get a little bit there. Funny thing about a catfish is, let's get his eye in here. Everybody have an eye. Put the brush there and just kind of roll it a little bit. That catfish is famous for the whiskers. And that's why they call them catfish. Old catfish has a whisker. It has one coming off this other way. That's how we know it's a catfish. Nope. There I go flipping the brush again. Old catfish has that yellow belly. Or a white belly, real light colored belly down under there. There we go. And we'll darken this up a little bit. Grab some more ultramarine blue. Throw a little bit of burn number in it. I want to give me a, a little more dark down in here. Need a good dark for this catfish. There we go. Let's see if we can't lose a little bit of that light down there. There we go. Get that little catfish side going there and get it up just a little bit high we'll kind of blend it in a little bit get a little eyebrow over that eye put just cut a little eye but there we go get some dark back down under here and kind of shake that whisker up a little bit see how we lost all that light carry some of that color on out into here into the water got that fin sticking out there get a couple of strokes in it we want that fit catfish to be there, but he don't have to be all there. He's down under the water. We just want to know that he showed up for the fishing. So I'm going to cut some of that dark back in there. Get a good dark side. Now I jump back over to my light and let's get that light in there. So I just keep jumping back and forth till I end up with what I want. Just blend him in there. So we got an old catfish down here just watching all the going zones. I'm going to grab some more of that ultramarine blue here. Try to get a good little light out there. Just put my brush on real light and just turn it. 
That should be a little bit darker. I will work this pure blue now and just cut that in down there to kind of get me a shadow on the bottom of the river down there. Cut across that whisker a little bit. Put him into the water. There we go. Put a little bit of water just cutting across the top of him. Carry that on across that block. That's how we know that stuff sitting out of the water. We'll carry just some strong lights or darks across it. All right, put that down into there. I'm going to make that bow show up a little bit more. I'll put a little darker dark. A little more dark into here. So we're just shaping things up a little bit. Trying to carry it. Well, that rope turns back up under that right there. We just darken it back in that hole a little bit. We just, there we go. Lose that one back up under there. Same thing over there. Lose it where it disappears back into there. There we go. Grab a little bit of burn number. Lose some of that hard blue. Blend the two together. There we go. We're just playing. Moving colors back and forth, back and forth. When I have that color, I just kind of go across. I like that dark color. As you can tell, I love darks. We're doing a dark picture. One day we'll do a bright picture. We'll do something really bright. Carry that right across that door there. We, just, we need our water colors. Let's do this. There we go. Let's put that ore under the water. Remember I got a light? Remember I get a good dark in there? We just needed that water in there. Now while I got this dark, I need to put that bobber right. Let's get a little stroke right there. A little bit of red showing below it, some on top. That set it down in the water. Get that shadow of those ripples. It always tickles me how he gets all them ripples, because he don't ever catch no fish. That's, that's fun fit watching that bobber bob up and down when you're fishing. That's a lot of fun. Remember he had that line coming down to the water. And that's all we need to put a whole lot there because that's all we need for that. So we're just kind of straightening some things up here. So we got our old catfish and we had a couple of fish swimming down here. Let's see if we can get them in here just to shape some a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit of red in it. That might be a little rainbow trout sitting down here. Look at that. Look how he jumped out there. Mixed him in with that blue. Let's get another fish. See so one right there. He's probably going to put a little more of that red in there. Oh, there we go. Catch his tail back here. There's his fins. He's probably got a buddy back here right behind him. Grab some of that dark and let's kind of catch his underneath side, catch his fins down there. I know I'm hiding y'all a little bit here, but got a fin up there on top. So all these fish come to see free. Cut his fins in there. Cut a fin in there. Now this is what painting's all about. So we get some fish down there, have some color in them. That to me is a lot of fun. And you know, we're not real worried about what kind of fish they are. We just know they're fish. And they all come over to see Fetty's fishing. Put a little shadow under them where they're kind of sitting up right above the bottom of the water. Always cut shadows in down below. You got to have some shadows. Now I'm going to grab a little bit of that light. A little more of that light. Get a, just, just a strong color up there on the top. With a, a lightning bug lights hitting. There we go, that gives us a tire. While I have some of this color on my brush, I'm just going to carry some of that into the water. I love different colors. Colors that we can blend together. Build up depth and color into the water. Don't be afraid to put colors in it. Water's not always just plain blue. Ain't no telling what you might see. I tell you what, we're about through. Probably on this next time, we're going to wrap this thing up. Yeah, okay.